It's my first real true scrimmage as a head coach. Didn't call any plays. Didn't really. I just kind of stood out here and I saw everything that was wrong. Uh, so, you know, I, it's never going to be as bad as you think it is or as good as you think it is. I know we did some really good things on defense. I think we did some some nice things. I think our running backs made some good runs in the second half on offense. And uh, so I look forward to just getting in, in the meeting room, watching the tape, and seeing what happened. We had 12 administrative penalties, and that means people on the ball when they should be off the ball, or people off the ball when they should be on the ball, people jumping off sides. We cranked the noise up the first half uh, with a lot of music where it was really hard to hear right here for the first time. Uh, and we had literally the first 17 plays, eight administrative penalties. So it's going to happen in the first scrimmage, but it's, it's unacceptable. That's how, you know, our plan to win stays, we, you know, we don't beat ourselves, and that's how you beat yourselves. You don't give yourself a chance to win when you do that, and we'll get that fixed, and that, you know, that's, that's part of, of growing up and part of having some, you know, a young team, but uh, we'll be okay. We'll, we'll hopefully have to make some strides for next week, and, and we'll work hard to do it. This was the first night that, you know, I didn't allow any coaches to come anywhere near the huddles, uh, which is tough on them. You know, some of those offensive linemen haven't played a lot of football, and Kyle Hart just moved the offensive line a couple days ago, but I wanted them to have to get out there and really just get their butt kicked and learn from it. Uh, it was good to see the defense. The defense, you know, in practice can yell and scream. Can, they had to use their hand signals tonight. I think they did a really nice job uh, of, of, of communicating. They were in the right spots. So, uh, again, not to go too far on one side or the other without watching the tape. I think you know both sides paid a, is, had a lot of, uh, of good things happen because of the music and having to communicate. We will uh, the Gallery Eagles on Thursday night have a nice youth clinic. Uh, you know, meet meet some of uh, the upper Cumberland's best. Sign some autographs. Uh, do a little practice work. Some scrimmage work for the fans and then Saturday we'll have another game simulation like we did today where everything is replicated the same as it will be on Thursday, September 1st against Wofford. So uh, it'll be a busy week for them, but you know, this is one more week at camp, one more week to get better and, and we're gonna we're going to uh, pay attention to the details and keep growing as a team. Scrimmage, it went pretty well for the first scrimmage. You know, offense, we had a lot of procedural penalties that we're going to get back to practice on Monday and cut them out. We got two practices Monday, so we're going through this last stretch. We're going to focus on the details, get back to the process, and get ready to win the championship. It's always competition out here, so we have good receivers like Brock McCoy, who was an All-American last year. I'm competing with him daily. Uh, they never handed me anything. I'm just competing every day for my spot. I don't want anything to be handed to me. It's a great offense, a great system, and it was an easy transition. I like being here as more of a family figure here. Well, I plan on getting back to film on Monday because we have tomorrow off. I plan on watching film, fixing the details, fixing the small things like getting in and out of huddles, and just getting better and getting ready for Wofford. Oh.